that back a touch. Okay, there we go. All right, so here's what we've got going on for Scorpion Den. Scorpion and Den is an attack defense operation where U.S. forces are looking for an INS firebase somewhere in the hills west side of Lashkar. INS firebase could be in one of these four grids here. It's uh, Charlie 12, Charlie 13, Delta 12, Delta 13. All right. Now that everybody is here, our plan is to attack an enemy FOB, enemy encampment, somewhere in Bravo 13, Charlie 13, or Charlie 12, and Bravo 12. Mission is for you guys to split up in two pairs, one and three squads on the southern side and two and four on the northern side. One squad will advance and one will stay on overwatch. So you bound up by squad on the north and south. After we reach the enemy encampment, we'll destroy their radio and try to pull back to our base here. Or we stay there and defend the location. Depends what happens on the ground. I have UAV already. So I will give you early warning of enemy contacts if I see them. And also I have smoke smoke parts that I can cover your advance. Any questions? I have a question. Yes. The up document said Charlie and Delta 12, Charlie and Delta 13. Yeah. And you it's the up doc is correct. It was mistaken. Yeah. It is Charlie and Delta. Yeah. Copy that. Okay, I see it now. Thank you. So it's marked on the map right now. Correct. Yes. And additional point, enemy has been utilizing IDs on this area. So one, once we find the enemy encampment, don't rush all in there to get blown up. And keep a good spread out as well for possible IEDs. All right, we are ready to move. Get her up by squads. Uh, hey, real quick, Army, your guy Carpenter has the wrong medic kit. He has the. Oh no, you switched it. Never mind. I just now knows. All right, here we go. Everything's proceeding. Yeah. We're gonna use both of the hilltops to move west here. Odds and evens, bounding by squad. Inky, I'll be doubling up as a, uh, as sort of the EA for this side, so if you need anything to be relayed, just go through me. Alright, say that we are ready. Yeah, already, I already let him know. A little bit longer of a trek for the even squads to go north here. Other than that, looks like all the build points have been used on INS. We'll take a look at that camp here in a second. After live gets called. Yes, sir. Hopefully I see you coming brother. back. So And there's live. Yes, we do the object Wait, Phoenix, what is the objective? Point? I didn't catch that. Let the bigger squad go first. Yeah, that'd be fun. Just, sorry. No, was your other thing? Yep. Just let them push up a little bit. Up and over the wall and there we go. Once you guys reach the Golf 12 and Golf and Fox 12 line, I'll call in the UAV. Peta 7 main says hello. Or says yo. So yo. Not quite sure what's going on here. Got name tags. I got name tags. All right. So here's INS. Take a look at the map. Copy. Yep, so one squad wet, one squad moving east, one squad moving north. Looks like a squad and a half, maybe two squads defending the actual base itself. Might be seeing some contact here pretty quickly. 
The fire base itself is pretty sparse. It's getting built now. So I've got a backstop of sandbags here and a nice little ring of sandbags to protect the radio. Squad's moving out pretty decent. Pretty decent pace here. For some reason, there's this thing up here as well. Very... Did I misunderstand the whole point of this mission? No, I did not. I don't understand what this is for up there, but... Maybe they just used it to offload extra build and stuff. So assume that anything north of 10 is the 10 11 grid line is out of play realistically. I actually think US can't move past the 9 10 grid line. One and two leads for the both elements, now moving out. Probably have contact in the south first, let's take a look at this position. Command, be advised, I got eyes on contact the hill at Echo 1354. Yep. Yeah, Alpha spotted them. I think he's gonna throw a UAV up. So if Alpha spotted them, let's see, Alpha is directly in front of you on the screen. You can see him there, barely. He's a few pixels on the screen. Looks like the, he saw some uh, Sky 99S here. Is it stationary? They're stationary, they're sitting in... Uh... Some are moving around, but for the most part, they're just sitting there. Can you repeat the crit? Wait one, I'm trying to walk my lad on target. A lad on target? What? He's gonna shoot? I guess he's gonna shoot Frosty. Who else does he see? Does he see these guys? Take a second here to figure out what this lad's gonna shoot at. It's Echo... Echo 13-5. UAV is not even on the grid for these guys. Uh, did I miss it? I guess I did. Oh, there it is. Short. A great map. I agree. Uh, my gra uh, my video card does not agree. My cooling solution. Hopefully the uh, added effects aren't too crazy right now. Push comes to s oh another one. I'm confused what that other po the puff is for. But, uh, Russ has disappointed me as a lat, so we're gonna keep moving. Did he shoot it into a tree or something? No, they're still they're still dug in there. They're 
spread out though, so they're on both sides of the ridge. Copy that. Some IEDs planted up north here. Shot over. I don't know what that was supposed to hit. Dude, did you try to shoot my Charlie team? Oh no, yeah. That was not me. That would have been Boar's Lat. Oh, friendly fire! Phoenix let his alliance shoot at friendlies. And shots are now being exchanged. Down here? No. These guys just got detected for sure. Lats going in. No real effect. There's still a squad operating north here. We're just outside of the rendering range for uh, this particular map feature, so... Koba, this looks like he got hit by some long rounds there. Hit the deck, hit the deck. And shots now coming in. Hit the deck, keep inching to the west. Just, just keep eyes that way where that gunfire is coming from. It's coming about at between 255 and the west mark. Contact where I'm seeing oak traces, back yeah. To the southwest side of that hill. Follow those traces, those are accurate. Four, if you want to keep pushing forward west, I'm going to kind of try to help. Looks like uh, rounds on target pretty good. Barry looks like he's been hit. Or is it blue? Can't tell because he's getting medic right now. I think it was Barry that was hit. Killer J squad leading the charge here. They're rolling down the hill. Some contacts have moved off to Echo 14-7, and others are still in Echo 13-1, but they got forced off their position. Uh, west. It went west 255. He's gone. Okay. And INS have pulled back. Oh, we got no range. Yeah, let's get down this. Let's get down this ridge. I'm gonna take my squad and try and take that position from them. I see. I see. I see. I see. Like up there. Yeah, he's gonna be pushed to die. That's why I'm hanging back. I don't wanna die, as well. Heard that. That'll screw up our entire. Um, that'll screw up our entire leadership. Yeah. yeah. Our team kind of. Before. Seeing an enemy concentration in and around Delta 13. Unsure if that is objective location. I had a game yeah. where me and squad lead were Some shots the, from the Delta 13, Delta 12. About Delta 13, 3 3. You know what I think the problem is? I think my fan curves got reset with a freaking driver update that happened last night. As far as I know. That, I didn't see that. Are they still there? Wouldn't that just be the dumbest thing We're, you've uh, ever heard? Off the hill a bit and going more to your south in the valley. Copy that. Before he's going to stay on overwatch. Oh, didn't see gotta any love it. UAV area anymore. Most likely falling back. Command. And I don't think I can actually change the. On the reverse slope. So the second you guys crest that slope, they're gonna. Ah, excuse me. The second you guys crest that slope, they're gonna be right on the other side of it. Copy that. Hey, Juan, pull up. I got. Pull up a little. Yep, that's uh pretty pretty valid right there. I got guys, looks like they're prone out in Echo 13-1, Echo 14-7, possibly Echo 13-4 as well.
I wonder if that UAV is actually effective. Taking a look at uh, the north guys are still holding out. Silas just waiting for these guys to run into these hills. Kind of looks like Phoenix is running that direction. But I, I wouldn't put it past him to actually move into that position. It's kind of out of the way. You'd think that uh, operating more... Uh, let's see, this one's going to be good. He's going to get a great idea of what the base looks like now. Raiders fire team moving closer, and of course they do. We can post up on. They do know they're gonna have to deal with uh, some pretty distant contacts as well as reverse slope. Hold here, Charlie. Spread out. Spread out north to south. Probably gonna be an issue. These guys are waiting in grenade range for anyone to peek. Shots being fired here. Working with limited intel, stand by. This is command to all. Saw so enemy supply truck at Charlie 12, but haven't seen there. Now realizing it is literally the view distance that is causing the issue now. Very cool. I like. Trying to get my ARs and gunners to PID their targets. Faders is running past Blue Jericho. Blue sees him and drops him from behind. Budget Saint goes down as well. War Daddy puts a bullet into Blue, eats a bullet as well. Killer J able to return fire there, but grenades going in. Victorum and War Daddy eat him. The ambush works out. Copy. And the FTL smoke for good measure. They know they've been marked. Now it's up to Squad Three to start. Picking up the slack here as squad one is stuck in position. I got enemies in Delta 13 2 5. Squad three starting to make their way up the hill and they're coming back down the hill. Oh, it's a small from south, south. Somewhere south. To south I don't think they have an idea of where they're getting shot from. So I'm assuming that's a uh, Carl Gustav being shot. It's quite silly plume of smoke there. Thank you, pick it back up. Oh my god. A little bit of confusion here. Now there was a report in the north that Phoenix was under contact from his west. That could be Silas's boys up there. I can see their muscle. Would be very bad. Koba is still living. Can the northern squads try to flank the central position at Delta 13-5? Or are 
is still the in contact there on the northern side. Koba's living and running away now. Now, starting to uh, reconnect with his guys. All the long shots in the world being used. Sadly, looks like Phoenix moving towards the IED points. Squad 3 shooting Carl Gustav rounds. Not sure what Elvito was trying to hit there. I don't even know if that was Elvito. It was real. There's three guys on that tree line. Oh fuck, they see me too. Somewhere. Shots coming in pretty strong here. Ines just moving in the open. But they're being covered pretty well. Hide in the close. Be careful. Holy oh, fuck. Yeah, that would be about 200. Yeah, it tried 200. Yeah, we're the better. Safer than sorry. I can't believe it. I wonder if the smoke and the frag rounds for the Carl have different uh, arming. Is it blue smoke? Different arming distances. Alpha Squad has made a gigantic push. Trying to split the difference. Phoenix's guys are on their own. This entire squad is caught out. This is probably a reattack squad. We got smoke artillery coming in. Alpha Guido's guys are starting to uh, get in there. How the engagement start? Um, Phoenix wants the lat in Phoenix's squad friendly fired his Carl Gustav at guys on coming up the uh, the top of the hill over there and uh, INS decided to engage where that splash landed close direct and then everything has been a react to contact in the south so far contact up here Patrick Starr caught out in the open only concealment not helping Lori on burst fire finally puts Patrick Starr down more trades happening. Grenade comes in not close enough. More grenades coming in. That one landed smack dab on Lori. More INS nades coming in. Looks like what pretty much one of uh, Alpha's fire teams is not effective anymore. Squad one has been knocked down to. You. We're on squad one. The guys in the south, pro we got friendly fired at, but that was really early. Um, yeah, and then you guys. I don't know what to tell you after that. You got start people that were starting to shoot your element over there. DJ Russ goes down to a grenade pretty close. It's kind of hard to uh, keep tabs on what's going on. Is that the North guys moving? No, they're not moving yet. US keeping way too far of a distance with the other squads and need to get those guys moving. Crossed the ridge to got pop. Yeah, you got shot from uh, ridge to ridge. They were the next ridge over to your west. Must have just been unlucky. They were there. They, uh, I think you guys tried to shoot at them with a lat. All of them missed. Thank you. 
And then the next thing I know, you had a fire team roll down the back side of that hill. And, uh... They pretty much got wiped. Alpha running straight for <laughs> the, uh, the next hill here. INS in reserve. Alpha catches Barry Boops unawares. Bong crawling around, gets tagged, crawls into cover. And the U.S. forces over here in the central part of the map the northwest of the objective or northeast of the objective are uh you good yep then you died to a rocket uh sorry to tell you you didn't die to a rocket if you died to a rocket it was friendly fire i don't think there's actually been a confirmed tk in this round yet i don't think ins have uh rockets nope Unless you ran over a mine, but I don't think there were any mines down there. Hey, never mind. That's for four. Never mind. Fucking mouse pads. ID. ID hits up north. Uh oh. Is Silas is running straight for these guys? Silas kills Phoenix. The rest of Squad 1 is now catching a fire team plus size force from behind. What happened? Avi, talk to me. Command, be advised. Phoenix is down and taking over Squad 4. We're taking contact from the north. From the north? The whole thing is there. Confirmed. Silas waiting for more targets to shoot. There goes Darkhound. Javi is stuck. What is there to do in this situation? I thought these guys were getting shot at from the west. These guys have never took a shot at them? Well, these guys are dead. Let's actually focus on the action, because a bunch of Blue Forge just dropped. Not an NSA spy. Carpenter go down. Looks like Zaki was part of that trade there. More smokes going in to actually block vision for uh, INS forces. And uh, yeah, that's kind of helping there. As my video card dies... Joe Violence takes a shot, it looks like. Maybe Carpenter just died. No, I thought Carpenter already died. The trade is real though. Honda Hun rolls in. I don't think the numbers are in US's favor right now, and the position definitely favors INS. Tater Todd looks like he's about ready to. Oh, he's actually run past L Lagar. Lagar's all he's gonna do is turn around. Two kills. Lagar pushing up towards Pipe Funk and Bow. Lagar is stuck facing forward, looking for people to run at him. I think everyone is cranking the heat in all the apartments around me. It's causing my apartment to be really warm. And in turn, causing uh, <laughs> my fan to not work so well. I don't know. 
Pretty sure a graphics car is not supposed to run efficiently in 90 degrees Celsius. It is thermal throttling. That, that is exactly what's happening here. So I'm not happy about it. Hopefully the stream's not completely shredded to pieces. Mad Honcho takes out James at the top of the hill here. Tater Tot knows it came from that direction, but uh, not able to identify anything. I mean, I'm going to be real. You guys weren't getting 60 FPS from me anyway. <laughs> you guys never were getting 60 FPS from me anyway. More shots being fired. Army Soul has put some uh, shots into Koba fire team here, and he's taking a bullet as well. Slater's gone down as looks like the cheese man poked out of a bush here. I think he just threw a grenade. Or he switched. One more smoke artillery barrage coming in. Squad 1 has been sitting on that hill ever since they got ambushed. Maybe they've come down from it, but they haven't really made a lot of forward momentum. Whereas everyone else seems to have died. Smoke artillery on target though. Could be ripe for a push here, but they gotta push through some people they don't know are really there. Progress is being made, but it is not at a great pace. Anu and Charlie Fox are waiting for them. Shit. Oh, that's close. Charlie Fox and Hanu go down. Looks like Elvito responsible for both of those kills. Mm -hmm. Any casualties? The cheese man is actually not in sight. Never mind. He's not a factor right now. They're getting really close. Is this the radio? This is the radio. Grenades being thrown downhill towards the smoke. Or uphill towards the smoke. I heard that through your mic. Two is ineffective. Did you get the 250, mil, 250 meter headshot with the AT4? Nope. Do it. Engage anybody. Army Soul goes down in the north. Elvito is digging the radio. Who's gonna come rescue it? Toasty's moving. Nobody else is moving towards the radio right now. Toasty got caught out. Toasty got caught out. Get ready for close contact. This is a great draw. If US can dig this and exfil, this is a win. All they have to do, all INS had to do was defend this radio and they can't see anything right now. Grenade comes in pretty close. Killer J lives. Killer J shooting back at Toasty. No shots on target. No INS is moving to deal with this contact. Now looks like Lagar is rolling down the hill. He's rolling straight for it. There we go. All right, he's done. All right. Protect. Radio is on bleed. Lagar's in a great position. He's at the top of the hill now. He's looking through. He might get inky here. Shots going in. All misses. Northwest. Inky gets tagged finally. Looks like the cheese man came through. I'm hit. Radio's still on bleed. Inky has to bandage. But he gets more damage from the frag. He stabilizes though. He's at basically no health. Redibus goes down, but not before he puts a bullet into Cheese Man. Elvito not able to survive. I'm falling back to bed. It's taken out. Inky's still there, but not going to live for long. It's just three versus all of INS. Two squads worth. All right, boss, we are holding this position. We Wait, what? Steve on Bartok. Um, I was trying to cover you. 
This is this has got to be a mix up. Why are there blue? Toasty runs up on Killer J Killer Jay's dead. Bus driver man stand gets shot from behind. I believe Inky's the last one left. Yeah, this doesn't make sense. And Inky gets shot up. Wait, they were actually? Wait, what? Wait, Steve-O was actually blue for? So wait, Bartok ran from the north, ran completely through the middle of these guys, and is still running south. There's no way that's real. Silas, Liberal, Kyle, Scottish Chap, Hood, Drop Kugel, all missed Bartok coming through the formation? Yeah, Bartok ran through six people, lost his buddy though, so Bartok's on his own as a medic. Yeah, but still, it's like three, eight, six makes 14. 14 V1. Yeah, I don't think you uh, really have to give Bartok the odds here. Now he's turning around, looking for the people that were behind him. <laughs> How is Bartok still alive, actually? That's what I want to know. I forget who was just with Bartok there, but Bartok ran through that element. They were standing still. Only his buddy got spotted. It was the lad. It was Stevo. Stevo gets spotted, but Bartok doesn't. Bartok tries to go for the knife and gets rejected. Actually gets uh, actually gets a stab in. You fucking idiot, you deserve that. <laughs> Great commentary from Alpha there to describe what just happened. Good. Alright, awesome. Let's do this. Here we go. Alright guys, focus up. Eyes up here. Minimize movement. I don't know what that head crab thing is down there, but let's uh, let's focus up. We had an amazing round one. That was thanks to every one of you. Excellent work, communication, calling out contacts, following commander's intent, following SL's intent. I love it. We're going to be a little more aggressive in round two. Uh, we're going to send. Uh, we're gonna do a three-one split. Three squads to the north, one squad to the south. Your SLs have their marching orders, but effectively, we're going to have Barry Boop squad as our base of fire suppression defense squad by themselves in the south on the ridge line similar to that squad that pushed barry's squad in round one they will be down there basically digging out the enemy making them show their faces keeping them busy distracting tying them up allowing for our three squads in the north to effectively push around that mountainside we're gonna have three squads we're led with a point squad which will be silas he's gonna be alpha team he'll be the tip of the spear we're gonna have that supported by hanu and zaki making sure that that spear continues to move forward at all times. If they hit contact, they will engage, allow the other squads to push, wrap around, continue moving. The important thing is that that 3-1 split, that 3 keeps moving. Otherwise, Barry's sacrifice in the south will mean nothing. Any questions pertaining to the op at this time? All right, awesome. Rules of engagement will be handed out by your SLs. Let's go ahead and break them out. Stand by for live. Let's get to the edge of the Hesco walls. Born in the USA. Oil. 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 It's 
Yeah, hey, I heard oil. Like I oil. fried chicken in oil. I know you guys watch the Russian Badger, do you? That a ghost? No, I do. I just buy right. Thank you, man. That's a boogeyman. He's like going over the top. Is that Mac? Like, oh, and there we go. Live for round two. Everybody going over the top. How many people get hurt? Funny. Get pro. The joke is. I heard oil. That shit is mine. Squeeze the sacrificial berry. Let's uh, make sure we're no, doing no skylining. If you guys want to pass that down now before they get there, no skylining. No skylining. Except for squad, whatever this is, three. Three squad will skyline, everyone else will not. So, let's talk about what's going on here. Uneven push. Three squads north, one squad south. Obviously, the south push is going to be the more contentious. You can see here INS throwing two squads at this defense. And two squads also getting eyes on the north as well. Now, I forgot to mention it earlier, but now would be a great time to remind your boys that we'll be seating MEE after GG and to stick around. Let's win this one first, though. I... You know, we are seeding the MEE server after this. Just so you know, I'm telling stream that we're seeding the MEE server. <laughs> That's amazing. How can we connect to the MEE server, Bal? Here it is in the list. You can always join squad ops GG Discord as well. Always how many how many players does it take to pop the server so it goes live? Well, in my experience, from eighteen v eighteen to twenty five v twenty five is always a safe bet. So if uh, every single person who's in the op right now joined, oh, it nice. would already be live. All right, I'm going to knock it off. Good luck, guys. <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys, uh, pass it down. Battle comms going out from now. Expect contact at any point. Let's start bounding effectively. Silent. Is that cheating? I don't think that's cheating. That's not a meta call. That's just being cautious. At this point, you would definitely expect contact. I mean, at this point, three is skylining. Bong doesn't know it, but he's 100% skylining for people at distance. Anyone playing this game at low is going to be is going to have seen him with Binox from that position so right there. Uh, am I no longer that northwestern element? I'm kind of confused now. I know you are whatever you want to be. Uh, you have two so we are going to get 100% contact here. Army Soul. Ooh, okay. A little, bit of a lag there. Uh, Army Soul's got a fire team up north here. Looks like the rest of his squad is coming in. Might be getting some redeploys here. And really, really aggressive position from Alpha here. Three squads against one. Big line. We're going to see how much uh, work Alpha's squad can put in there. We are going to see contact down here first, I think. Uh, actually, look, let's actually look up north. I wonder how uh, ridiculous it's going to be up here. Uh, these positions for INS are, uh, this is tricky. Command to squad three. I think we're going to have contact reports being passed out here already from INS. Find some high ground to get a good look out. 
100% these guys have been spotted already. And the numbers aren't fully realized to them because they can only see part of this squad. Everyone else is in cover right now. On the back side of this hill, but they're going to be climbing up here and... Uh, this fire team is going to be exposed, going to be uncovered pretty quickly. Lots of foliage in the way, though. So, may not be immediately obvious. Taking a look at the map. No bombs up here to play with. The South uh, Boys and Barry Boops is still maneuvering a little bit more to the southwest. We're getting a contact call from command. Confirm that contact, Red Ref. Contact was called. And AR opens up. Tater Tot and Slater get caught out here. Tater Tot getting pretty well covered here, but he's already in defilade. It'd be pretty smart smoke there. Oh, well. Throwing blue smoke? What is going on? Meanwhile, the rest of the US, the other two squads are moving up the hill. Distraction play continues. US making a great effort here. He was in close contact now. Silas has got his eyes moving up the hill. But if he doesn't watch it, he's going to keep... If he keeps moving west here, he's going to fall straight down off his trap. Matter of fact, Silas might actually have eyes on what they're shooting at down there. Slater's pretty obvious. But I don't think you really want to stick around there to see. And Alpha is now opening up. Silas is running at these guys, try to throw a grenade, it looks like. Yep. Grenade throw... definitely short. Oh, that's hilarious. Silas has actually run past Lori. Lori is only worried about all the contact to his immediate. South, Scottish just got shot. SKS, my man. Let's go. Sandbags reported west of three suppressed. Silas still up, Silas is still up. Copy. Dresden gets tagged by Lori here. And then gets shot as he tries to reposition. Redibus is still stuck out here. And Silas is actually making moves. Another grenade gets popped here. Silas is getting shot up. Silas is the squad lead. Why is he up here by himself? I hope Silas is yelling at his guys right now. Berserker is in the perfect position to try a grenade throw, but he is watching for these guys to come at him. Redibus is working up the hill towards this contact. Frederick's right in front of him. I think Redibus is an FAL. Oh, he's got an AK. He's a fire team lead. Might have uh, Frederick dead to rights here. Yep. He sees Frederick's boot. Shoots Frederick. In the face. 
Silas is still alive, but I did hear another SL go down. Charlie 13. Eh? There's no way you saw the radio from there. You, my boy. Heroic. Zaki runs forward. And pretty great. Redibus actually gets gunned down. Holy. Silas is still alive here. And is just holding the position, waiting for this guys to come in. I do hear contact has been made. Oh boy, we got problems. The observation guys have been allowed to come up. Ines is looking towards the northern contact. They don't know. They don't know Ines is close. This is pretty good. They're gonna hear this though. Is Honda Hun gonna hear this? Han is still looking up. He hears something. I know he hears something. He's gonna if he looks right, he's gonna see something pretty quickly. What about you don't see me? You don't see me here and sees Frosty run straight at him. Bong can't hit a shot. Schmitty jumps, but Bong still ends it. Keep moving. Come on, come on, that was come scary on. Shit. And Han to Hun is gonna wait for a shot here. Honda Hunt is waiting. Where did Schmitty go? Where's Schmitty going? Schmitty shoots NSA in the back, and he's dead. Polo's looking for him. I think Schmitty saw him. I think he got him. There's still two other people over here. Meanwhile, contact in the north is gonna get some smoke. Is Silas down to one? Buddy team? Meanwhile, INS have pulled out in north here. Looks like Alpha's pulled a fire team size force out. Yeah. So two squads in reserve are going to reposition. Meanwhile, more people die over here. It's just Han the Hun on the hill now. However, the southern distraction squad is now real. Oh, that's actually what's happening here. They're throwing all their forces through the valley. They're going to get a massive smoke barrage here momentarily. They're just going to run straight forward, I think. Does Ines have eyes on this? More than likely, mainly because the skylighting coming over the hill. INS holding two squads on the hill, waiting for things to shoot. INS with no ARs though, so engaging at a distance is not going to be pretty. Silas has got to push here if they want to make this play of reality. They gotta get those ARs up on the hill.
And for some reason, shots are being... Bus driver man Stan is using a tree blind. I guess he's shooting at Blue Jericho and those boys over there. I don't know what's actually happening. He's just trying to see what's going on. The smoke has come in. I don't think it's as effective as uh, Val thinks it is. And it's dissipating already. I think it's too wide. That might work. Honda Hun. Isolated is going to run away and try to rejoin the base defense. Can you get an update on those contacts you had? <laughs> He's crawling though. <laughs> doing what he can in the north Silas is just holding the position Alpha has a fire team size force also holding in position waiting for them to run over him this is a really good spread from US here but uh, when push comes to shove they gotta get organized Eventually, they're going to get shot at. Copy. And ARs, they have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five ARs here. Two on top of the hill. Silas is now maneuvering. like the rest of three have made it through down the hill now. Smokes are landing. That might be enough vision. That might be enough to break the vision of INS and the US could just charge in here. We, we are the, like, uh, we're playing like every single time together. <laughs> yeah, usually. This is like pub stat tra tactics here. That is actually going to be a sufficient amount of smoke to really hide most of INS. Contact 150 meters nor uh, west of our current position. And the smoke has ended. Please. ARs are now opening up. Looks like Elvito may have tried to take a shot there. AR is actually scoring hits. Honda Hun was going to try to fall back, but it's not happening. Matt Honcho and Fulcrum actually pushed up South of my position. Copy to engage. Three close to an IED. West. So I think we have AP mines and then we have an IED here. Ideally, if the AP mine goes off, you blow the IED sight unseen. And the AP mine makes a distinctive explosion. US had made an effort, but it is slowing down now. They gotta keep this... They gotta keep this, uh... They gotta keep this movement up. Meanwhile, Han to Hun is basically gonna walk in the back of Hanu here in a second. Stay with me, Pipe. Hanu and Pipe Funk looking from behind. Hanu heard Han to Hun. Here comes a grenade. Hanu takes two, but he gets the grenade toss, and Han runs straight for it. Han is going to bleed out, though. That was from the east. The trade is made. To the command, Han. Pretty sure Hanu was an SL. Got it. 
Yeah. Meanwhile, Command is moving with a fire team that is uh, taking their time. The push is important. That's what we're hearing. Alpha's now starting to reposition his guys to get on top of the hill. This could be a problem. Silas has got to move his guys now. I think Silas is waiting for the shots to be taken before he moves in from behind on these guys. I think those are smoke rounds. Something tells me the, uh... ID, ID. ID, ID. Three down, Matt Honcho, Fulcrum, that's actually four, Blue Jericho, and Schmitty. That was a good ID. Here comes Alpha. Alpha left the buddy team up on the hill, and it looks like Alpha's running straight at command. Silas is going to make an end run around, and he's wide open. Contact nice call. Three, three, two, six. Alpha closes in, puts two into Cheese Man. Lagar is still alive. Cheese Man bleeds out. Joe has to bandage. Lagar has to run and bandage immediately. Grenades being thrown here. DJ Russ runs back. Alpha is now running and shooting at the back ranks of US forces. Joe goes down. Alpha looking for more. Running towards Lagar. Let's go for it. Keep it going. I know it's hard. There's enemy very close to our east side. Looks like Squad 2 has no command comms. But they are right next to, uh... Command. So they're probably getting... Vocal instructions. Lagar has ears on the shots coming in. Patrick Star goes down though. Oh, and Zaki actually takes out Alpha. And Zaki in the open. Oh, and Slater eats a rocket. Chub seats a grenade. How the fuck I survived? I don't see shit. Yeah, me either, man. <laughs> I was in good. the middle of the uh, shooting. One, you are clutch, by the way. Keep it, keep it going the best you can. Take Be careful, we got contact close. We're not coming. Still got to DJ Russ and Tater Tot. Fucking bull cookies. AR has, looks like... AR has Tater Tot, uh, pretty well grounded here. Another rocket comes in towards Tater Tot. Lagar goes down. Looks like DJ Rust dropped him. And DJ Rust gonna hightail it out of there. Bow is down as well. I'm 
try to get the blue way to quick up so they can uh, continue to deal with the assault. Still pretty strong, two and a half. Well, I guess really more like, uh, uh, well, it's like one and a half squads on the point here, and Silas is actually going to be able to walk in from behind. Zaki's actually walking up the hill towards Tater Tot. It's actually kind of tremendous. Silas with eyes on the radio. It's in the open. It's not defended. Can he get there intact is the question. Is anyone looking behind? Steve-O is looking. He's got an AKS, so he's not going to be able to s hit anything, but uh, you'll probably, you might see them if they take the wrong move here. Matter of fact, you might actually be able to see Dresden right now. Dresden's just laying in the open for no reason. No one else seems to have eyes on this right now. Phoenix is still looking east. Oh no. Pipefunk getting close to another IED. The AR is actually opening up. A couple of INS guys displace here. Bus driver man Stan, War Daddy, who's this budget saint, redeploying to this northwest hill. Trying to get eyes on what's going on over here. Shots being fired. Silas and Dresden trying to make a very... Slow approach here. Silas has eyes on this hill. It's not looking good. There's about a fire team plus still off the point here. So these are the mines and this is the ID. Pipe Funk might be uh, saying hello to the respawn screen very shortly. Depends on how greedy INS wants to be. IED is probably somewhere on this hill. You can see the muzzle flare, the muzzle flash is now much more pronounced on this layer thanks to all the foliage around it. How the light bounces off of all this foliage. DJ Russ and Tater Tot are actually moving in the back line. Silas and Dresden might be able to uh, move forward, but they're going to lose the opportunity with Kugel might be going down here in the back. DJ Russ making a strong push for it. I'm not sure what Tater Tot's doing. I think he's just covering. I think he heard DJ Russ behind him. Kugel. Only gets tapped once. What reactions? Silas able Silas and uh, Dresden able to drop. Budget Saint on top of the hill. Inky is pushing out by himself. He's command. ID goes on. That's I think that's a mine. And that was the ID going off. No casualties. Pipe Funk and Big Poppy still live. Oh my oh god, my, my fucking god. heart rate is through the roof. <laughs> how, how did we live? 
I right, just saw go. a big fucking. He's he's near <laughs> us. If he called that in, he's near us. He's near yeah, us. Yeah, they they have our eyes on us. Silas climbing the hill. I think he's moving a fire team across right now. AR gets put into bus driver man stand. He has to go down to try to save himself. Silas makes it up the hill. Is it time to kill? War Daddy in the back. I think he saw a moon Wolfie over there. No shots hit. Phoenix is making a beeline for this. Lots of grenades being thrown. So Charlie Foxtrot and Koba are actually making a push here. 61 and J Utopian JJ making a really good two-prong assault out of this. Scrapping up what they can. It's just buddy teams. There's Three sets of buddy teams on the uh, east side pushing in. And IED goes off a Utopian and 6 1 still live. Okay. Meanwhile, opposite side of the hill, bus, dri bus driver man, <laughs> man Stan is dead, and Dresden gets shot in the back by Inky. Sandbags. Silas has got to watch out now. I don't think he knows these guys are behind him. Lots of shots popping off east, though. Steve-O goes down as Charlie and Koba make a push in. Koba gets shot up by Phoenix, hiding in a bush. Fader gets tagged. And Charlie might have taken a deflection there. He took a little bit of damage, I think. Grenade thrown. Charlie gets zipped through the murder hole in the sandbag. Wow, what a shot. I think that was the Moon Wolfie. And I think Silas has died on the other side of the hill. Uh, just drop Google over here in the west. Big Poppy and Pipe Punk chill trying to climb up. Utopian and JJ. No one has command comms on US. It's 5v, uh, I only have 4, 6, 7, 8. <laughs> Copy that. Contact Southwest. He's still up. South. Southwest. Copy. I think Drop Kugel just took out Inky. That's command for INS dead. Tater Todd is zeroing in on this position pretty fast, and Dudson's up the hill as well. Yeah, Tater Todd's like 60, 70 meters behind Kugel at this point. Google making a play up towards the top of the hill, though. Utopian and 6 1 still holding, and Big Poppy and Pipe Funk are slowly pushing up. The trades go their way. This still could be in US's favor, but the odds are really starting to stack up here in INS's favor. Five to seven remain. Google's made it to Dudson's uh, point here. Dudson's got to hear this. He hears it. He's crawling. Google sees him clipping through the top of the hill. Killer Chase running right behind. Tater Tot's still in tow, but not able to connect. Ooh, he might have a chance here. Nope. Might have too much concealment in the way. Tater Top might see him through these trees. LJ and Real are still holding back. 
Utopian in 6-1 looks like they're on the move now. Tater Tot is actually taking his... He's crawling. I think he just saw him. And he missed it. He missed his uh, chance to take the shot here. Real ran towards drop. Does drop hear him? No. Oh, what a reaction! Drop is making moves. 6-1 is also making moves. He's pushed up and Utopian's covering him. I think 6-1 is less on ammo. And Killer J gets him in the reverse slope as he crosses over. Cool down. Four US remain. 6-1 repositions to the sandbag. And Utopian makes a little bit of a move up. He's down the hill from Phoenix, who's still hiding in a bush. Pipe Frunk and Big Poppy are making big moves now. Pushing closer to Freestalker. Freestalker actually gets pistoled by 6-1. It's all he has is the pistol. <laughs> Utopian gets shot up. I think Phoenix might have done that. Down to three and one mag for 6-1. He had his chance to make it work and it didn't. I think Tater Tot is... What is Tater Tot shooting at? I'm right behind you. Tater Tot gets... Or 6-1 gets hit here. Does he have a bandage? He's going to bandage with one pistol mag left. What is he going to do? He's going to try to... I guess he might have a little bit left in his uh, in his M249 here. Phoenix is looking straight at him. I think he just threw a grenade. No. 6-1 have it. Kind of hard to tell. Phoenix is looking... Big Poppy making a big push up the hill here towards Freestalker. Freestalker's just sitting there waiting to receive. Freestalker, your upper left corner. Big Poppy in the bottom right. Freestalker also looking towards Pipe Funk here. Let's try and get to this radio, please. Yep. Being hurried by the admin. And... Freestalker puts a bullet into Big Poppy before going down. I'm hit again. Big Poppy's still bleeding. I don't know if he has any bandages. Pipe Funk is there. I think he's a medic. He is. Big Poppy bandages. 3v5. Six one looking for Phoenix. Found him. Three v four. INS are spread out way too much right now to make this work. Six one have any more rounds in that thing? the fuck maybe he doesn't maybe he saw fader peeking over the hill there big poppy actually making a big play right now push closer to fader and he's going to come up and over this hill does he see killer they're both moving pretty open here big poppy doesn't see him killer makes behind defilade killer's moving down towards the radio the, the radio's down the hill here so is Fader and Moon Wolfie and Tater Tot. Well, I'm gonna get shots far west. The lane action still helping. 6 1 makes it over to Pipe Funk, gets heals. Reloading. No, no, that's west. They're west. Uh oh. Copy that. Big Poppy overestimating size of force to his west. It's, it's got to be here. west if they're defending west. Cover my west. I'm going to clear the, the last guy over here that I see him. Copy. Copy. 
Oh no, he's wasting ammo, suppressing the western hill! INS have really choked this defense down, concentrated their guys on the radio itself, and they're all hiding in bushes. Well, Wolfie hasn't found his spot yet, but he will in a second. And looks like they're coming right down where they want them to be. Let's see how good they are at looking up the hill through all these... All this foliage. Let's start. Can you, are you guys all within local? Yeah. I am. Pipe Funk needs to hurry up. I think he's just sitting waiting for contact from the rear. <laughs> he's only crawling. This is cool. He's gonna take a while. Smoke on this hill right here in front of us. Oh, I feel like the radio's right down in this dip. North of us. Poppy with the smart play here. I'd watch it. You're gonna, you're gonna be. Sixty one is gonna push up here, and he's gonna find either Fader or Wolfie shooting at him. There's a logic down here. Oh, the radio. I think it's down here. Yeah. I think six one only has the pistol left. Let the smoke build for a sec. He just reloaded it. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna circle west. There's a little bit of a ridge. All right. Right, so. What about that contact west? Did you take him out? I have no South idea. West? But he, he, he might have circled back. Pipe Funk is still crawling to the objective to try to support. Should be moving a little bit faster than that. Big Poppy's gonna skyline here. Is Killer gonna see him? To your west. And no way Poppy's gonna see this guy. Make sure you're looking at all these fucking bushes. We got bush wookies. Uh, maybe. Well, he knows he's in there now. That's uh, 345, 345 for my, my pause. Big Poppy. I'm hit again. I need the medic. I'm pushing down. Pipe Funk moving a little, a little bit more purpose now. Poppy has no bandage. 6-1 is going to pistol nothing. I'm hit. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Oh. Thank God you got me. Heal me all the way. All 6-1 has his pistol right now, it looks like. Just light up every single bush and then I'll push up and we'll clear it out. 10-4. The strategy is here, and they only have one person to deal with. They might be able to flush Killer J out of the... Oh, and he's dead! On the first burst! Look, look east. Look east. Make sure he can't. they can't flank us. Medic. 3v3 now. Look east. Hey, Medic, come with me. Let's clear all, all these bushes where he was. Our gunner can stay up there and provide support from the high ground. 3v3 faders now moving. Hold flyer, let's clear it out. Medic, come down. Let's go. Alright, let's start clearing. Fader knows they're on the other side of this hill. Grenade goes up. That's actually really close! How did they not kill Pipe Funk? That is ridiculous. Pipe Funk saved by map geometry. Six one is actually going to make it around this hill here. Now, Wolfie is looking in this direction. Moment of truth, once 6-1 pokes out around here, might be over for him. Big Poppy, not really doing much. Fader's actually made it way up the hill here. He's in a great position to clean this up. Six one, now in the open. Does Wolfie see him? No. 
still behind the hill. Six one's gonna push all the way around. Oh boy. Fader scanning. If six one kids keeps pushing around and they all go up over the hill at the same time, this could turn out very well. Fader in the near ground here, 61. Getting close. Now looking through all the bushes he can with his pistol. Big Poppy's right there with him. Pipe Funk following behind. Shots fired. Looks like Fader might have been caught out here. Fader takes a shot back. So Poppy's going to run the distraction play. Wolfie puts a round into Poppy. He has no bandage. 61 actually puts a bullet in the fader with his pistol. Tater Tom might end this right here. Poppy's got plenty of time to get a bandage on. 61's going to push this hill. Here, guys. We gotta... I'm almost out of ammo, dude. There's, there's at least two of them up on the ridge that we came from. Like, on the opposite. 61's going to go back around to the top of the hill. No, he's going to go through the bush. Please say he's going to go through the bush. No, he's not. He's going to go up here. Hit me while I'm moving. Poppy puts a bullet at Fader. Fader gets downed. You got one. Tater Top pushes up. He's down too. The tables have turned. It is now Wolfie V3. And the T's. No, Pipe Punk jumps out. 1v2. No bandages left. 6 1 doesn't have any. Guarantee you, Poppy doesn't have any. Watch out, don't skylight, don't skylight. It's all down to Wol Wolfie. Uh oh. They may not be as safe as he thinks. He's in the bushes. I see him northeast. 6 1 actually put a. Two rounds into him. No, no, no. You shoot. I'm out of ammo. Completely out of ammo. It's fine. Just keep his... Keep his, keep his Is, does Wolfie have a bandage? Wolfie's gonna bleed out. He's bled out! 50 yards. Pistol shot. Shit. He bled out. Holy fuck. He bled out. Good shit. <laughs> GG. How did INS lose that round? I took